Energy came out with this brand new flavor called Candy Crisp Apple. I don't know if you can see that, but I actually wanted to go ahead and give this a try. I just got home from church, by the way, and I w walked into the gas station because I didn't have anything to have. I didn't have anything for breakfast today, so I just wanted to go in and get something, get something to eat but also something to drink and I saw then I saw the new Bang Energy flavor and I wanted to give it a try for myself so let's do a little taste test let me know how that new Bang tastes I'm actually about to taste it right now and I'm about to record myself doing it I was sending a little voice message to my girlfriend as you already heard alright open this up hmm. smells like smells like apple Yeah, I do taste the candy, and I do taste a little bit of the apple. More the candy, a little bit of the apple. But still, smells like apple, tastes more like candy. Which is interesting. It's interesting that the scent is apple, but the taste is candy. That is honestly the weirdest kind of combination that I've ever seen, that I've ever smelled and tasted <laughs> all at once it was actually pretty interesting and I like that roughly about eight or nine hours later probably most likely eight there's a couple things that I ended up doing that me and my mom ended up doing uh, a little bit earlier today and I'm about to show you just exactly what we did all right are you ready to see this cha cha focus there we go just focus so as you can see there's a little this is not exactly what it's going to look like this is not the official look but it's going to change in a little bit in a little while as time goes on I'm doing I'm making a time-lapse video of the progress of cleaning this entire room up so this is technically day two uh, or maybe day three I don't know but the drawer has been moved from right where this tire was all the way to over here right underneath this TV and I do have to say it's a pretty convenient spot as far as this table goes I'll probably figure something out for it shoes will definitely go in the closet a little bit later on but yeah this actually does look pretty nice also if you're wondering where this tire came from I can tell you guys the story of how I managed to get a tire like this so that tire is from the 2014 Coca-Cola 600 and um, we ended up buying that tire it, we didn't buy it from any other teams we bought it uh, just specifically that wheel uh, one time when I was at over at Michigan International Speedway in that particular year 2014 and um, it's actually really cool so this so we see this tire run the Coke 600, or at least this is one of the tires, I think that it was kind of smoothened out a little bit. Either that or these are just tires that really weren't used at all. So um, we're at Michigan, me and my dad are at Michigan International Speedway. So, and we're just walking around, you know, we're, we're looking at souvenirs, we're buying some souvenirs. And then we stumble upon like a trailer uh, or a hauler, trailer, hauler, whatever. And they are selling tires. I think they were like 30 bucks a tire. So I was like, I want a tire. I want to put that in my room. And dad was, I think he was a little hesitant to buy the tire. But he went ahead and bought it anyway. He was uh, $30 for that tire. I can't remember which team actually used this tire. It doesn't really say. It doesn't really say at all, I mean, which team actually used the tire. It was just a tire um, that came off of, like, maybe an extra, just an extra set of tires that really wasn't used anymore. But it was still really cool to uh, have a tire like this because, you know, it's just, um, I don't know. It just, it just is really cool, I mean, to have, like, a, a real-life NASCAR souvenir like this in my room and I've had it in my room for the last six years or so coming up on seven it's it's unreal it's really awesome 
So what have I been doing the last eight or nine hours? Practically, it's been watching videos, but also most of the day was spent on reorganizing this entire room. It's going to get reorganized a little bit later on. Uh, you might have already seen, have caught a small glimpse of what the desk looks like now. If you don't, I will show you. So this is basically what the desk looks like now, with the exception of that cup. And these, and these bottles will not be here in the future, nor will that gaming chair. That gaming chair is going to be gone because this is taking up space and I do not want it here. Those yearbooks will have to find a new home. I'm going to find a new home for them, maybe somewhere in the closet. But there's a lot of stuff in that closet and we need to get that stuff out. It mainly consists of a lot of just toys that I've had over the years and just extra toys and clothes and extra things that I really don't need anymore. Especially since I'm at the stage in life where it's just like, at this point, I just got a lot of stuff where I just, that I just really don't necessarily want or need anymore, but yet have done, but yet I've done absolutely nothing to get rid of the stuff. But now I'm actually doing it because there's actually some, because of some actually, some pretty big things that are happening in the coming months. And I hope to pass that news along to you guys in the near future. I might have, but if I didn't, well, here you go. So, uh, that's it. I want to thank you guys a lot for watching this small condensed down vlog. But if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you have not considered subscribing, I recommend you do so in order to keep up with some fine content coming out in the near future. And that about does it for me. I'll see you on the next one.